Before we threw it on the air. Ugh, forget it. And now for more about the new footage, here's our resident conspiracy expert, Noodles. Noodles? Hey, man, thanks. Whoa, man, UFOs, huh? <gasps> can you dig it, man? Yes, Noodles, I can. Far out, man. I always knew the government was hiding something from us, man. <sighs> what do you think about the newly released footage, Noodles? Uh, what footage, man? The, the UFO footage? That's whoa, the reason whoa. we had you on the show. Sorry, man. Uh, I didn't watch it. You didn't? He didn't watch it. Well, I was gonna, but uh, I got high and forgot. Oh. Noodles. What were we talking about, man? Ah, forget it. Oh, hey, man, did you see that new UFO footage, man? Yes, Noodles, that's why we whoa. got it. Well, that's all we have for tonight, folks. Stay tuned for more Puppet News. Oh, I'm surrounded by fucking idiots. Hey, man. Welcome back to Spiritual Life Advice, man. Well, today's the day. I finally listened to the government and moved my studio inside. I thought my perfectly aligned chakras would keep me safe, but apparently that doesn't work. Whatever, man. The government can't keep me down, man. Today, we're going to look at four tips for maintaining a spiritual life during quarantine. Tip number one. Seeing as we're all stuck inside for a while, now's as good a time as ever to learn how to meditate, man. I like to find a nice, calm spot to sit down and repeat my mantra. Om. Whole Foods is having a kale sale, man. Om. Om. Joe Rogan's got a new podcast out. Oh, whoa, man. I feel better already, man. Tip number two. When you've got too much time on your hands, find something productive and fun that you can do to while away the hours, man. For example, I'm going to name my crystals. This one is Gwyneth Paltrow, man. And this one is Terrence McKenna. And this one is DMT. Whoa, 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 sorry. That's actually DMT. Let me just get that out of the way there. That's better. Clear your thoughts by writing them down and turning them into poetry, man. Here's mine. Drifting through an ocean of moments, man. Time flowing around me like freshly brewed kombucha. Whoa, man, I feel all zen now, man. 
tip number four. Ooh, this one's my favorite, man. If you're feeling all cooped up, get as high as you possibly can, man. How you gonna feel bored when you don't even know where you are, man? Ooh. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time. Peace out, man. from you and give advice that only an old man would. Today, we have a question from Ryan in Los Angeles. Ryan? Hi, Bob. Thanks for having me on your show. Um, I'm calling today because I need a little bit of advice. I, uh, there's just this really cute girl in my math class, and I'm really shy, um, so I don't really know how to approach her. Um, I was wondering if you had any advice for me. I'm sure you probably killed it with the ladies. You're old and knowledgeable, right? So, uh, yeah, any, any advice would be super helpful. Thanks. What a nice young man. Thank you for your question, Ryan. Hmm, girl problems, huh? When I was your age, I was neck deep in cooter every single day. There must be something wrong with you. Uh, well... My advice is to do what works for nearly every old man. Just say something weird and creepy while they're at work. Make sure to make them feel real uncomfortable. Oh, well, you know what that bell means. That means it's time to go to sleep. Uh, thanks for coming to, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks. Uh, Records getting trashy. Oscar the Grouch is a bitch. Oh, uh -huh. shit, he said it. You heard what I said. Damn. I mean it. This goes out to that green furry bitch living in a trash can on Sesame Street. Yo, Oscar, you're, you're a grouch, grouch, but that's about it. You look like weed, and it's time for me to take a hit. As far as trashy puppets go, I'm the number one. You're just a furry green bitch that's rude to everyone. Scram. You're done, son. I'm the dopest trash you'll meet. I'll use your shaggy ass to mop up motherfucking Sesame Street. So don't run up on my ear talking all that trashy shit. I don't care if you're a hit. I'm legit. You're a has-been in a trash bin. That's why I'm asking. Why you gotta be so fucking mean? The way you treat those little kids is just obscene. You're looking green. Maybe take a sip of lean. Consider this rap a fucking grouch vaccine. Tell Ernie, bring the gurney to wheel your ass home. I'm the king of garbage and this trash pal is my throne. Yo. Bop, bop. 